Thank goodness I checked for a um, mic check. Because apparently it wasn't working. I gotta use the bathroom. Be right back. Jeez, I am not at a hundred percent right now. <clears throat> uh, let me just. I am not, I'm still not at 100%. I'm just letting you guys know. Gone on with that Grime song. Get. Get lost, Grime. All right. <clears throat> I'm just so exhausted. Oh my god. I don't even know. I seriously need. Ugh. I'm just so tired constantly. It's... Okay, let's go, universe, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're gonna lose. The following contest is the men's War Games match! The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages, with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins! The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Now, let the War Games begin! this 
guy. Introducing first, representing Vicious and Delicious from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 130 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion, Typhoon! Being the one to kick off a War Games match is not easy. There's tons of pressure resting on you to get your team Ouch. off to a good start. Well, lucky for him, he won't have to wait too long until the Calvary arrives. That's right, this team will have the numbers advantage here, but it's not so easy to capitalize on that advantage. Well, it's only a matter of moments now until we find out if he's up to the challenge that is War Games. Corey, how do you think these superstars feel about competing here on Thanksgiving? They should feel honored, Cole. As you know, Thanksgiving has a long-standing tradition of being one of the more prestigious nights on the sports entertainment calendar. Here comes the intimidating Veer. Six foot four, 275 pounds of pure punishment. And representing Indus Shared from Uttar Pradesh, India, weighing in at 275 pounds, Veer Mahan! This is the kind of match where reputations are made or broken. It is a crucible in which top stars are forged. And he is facing the ultimate challenge, trying to guide his team to victory despite being at a numbers disadvantage. It's a tall task, but he's convinced himself and his team that they're up for it. They think they have just as good a shot at winning this as the other guys. Well, I hope that confidence isn't misplaced. In war games, one single mistake is enough to bring your whole game plan crashing down. First two oh to be locked inside as war games ramps up. Yeah, Cole, remember, War Games doesn't officially begin until the last contestant enters the cage. We'll have to see if these two have the stamina to last until then. I don't. Sometimes in the middle of a hard-fought match, you need a snap. Well, I'm gonna break Just your body. a sure sign of desperation. This maniac's out of control. Wait, what? Is that a bite? Oh my lord, what is he? Oh, gross! How barbaric! Biting really just speaks to the animosity at play here, I guess. Willing to fight like an animal. Oh my lord, what is he? Oh, gross! How barbaric! I'm pretty sure that was a bite. Unbelievable. Mahan showing no answer for this attack. Can Mahan recover from this adversity? That was savage. What a disgusting act. Oh my gosh, that's gross! No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, my Lord. What is he? Oh, gross. How barbaric. Veer able to take a stand there. This could be a chance for Mahan to get some distance and rethink things. And the balance of power is about to shift with this upcoming entrant. vice leg grip on the throat. Up and down with a choke slam. No way Veer recovers from that. Bursting out of the cage, eager to capitalize on the situation. Insult to injury. He just isn't being given any room to recuperate. Yeah, he's really being put to the test. Look at the amount of members on each team now. This truly has the potential to become one-sided. Ah, oh, right to the back. He's turning the tables. Scissors catch, sucker! And I got countered, yay. Mahan with the reversal. Dick breaker! Going up the cage now, must have some sort of strategy in mind. Ooh! Oh. Ridiculous standing shooting star! Super kick!
We're seconds away from these teams being at even strength. Oh, boy, he's stalking him. Watching for it to the sky. Backs handle from the middle rope. And with the next combatant on their way, it looks like things are close to a fair fight once again. Now he's got a chance to best Mahan here. Great counter. Impressive ring IQ on display there. Connects. Okay. Turns that back on Jinder. Okay. And a swingy gut buster. Nasty. Boy. You want to get finished that badly? All you have to do is say so. Down with a choke slam. Well, I put my money on that guy tonight. Away. Ginger's getting up but has no idea what's coming his way. Uh oh, mandible claw! Mandible claw! This is troublesome for Mahal. Power drop kick! The sound of this crowd is deafening and he's asking for more. Only seconds away from giving their team the numbers advantage. What's coming next? A back suplex. Cage opens and the strategy now has to be to take charge. Play the numbers game to your advantage now. He's already bringing vice like grip on the throat. Up and single choke slam. Amazingly executed once more. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? Under the apron now, looking to stack the odds even higher in their team's favor here. Oh, and a stop. Climbing into the ring, pretty much entering a war zone. Right in the face. My God. How dare you? Get him. God dang. That's got to do it. No one can continue after that. How could anything go on after what we just witnessed is beyond me. This sledgehammer, how do you recover from that? Wielding the sledgehammer, clearly feeling the power that comes with it. One person again. One person. And counting. Raining down right hands. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Counting down to seconds. It's Can I count in my finisher? You can have another one of my finishers. Oh shit, yeah. Okay. Ouch. And now officially in the fray. The case of the top. Able to sidestep it. He just got sent flying into the opposite ring. How in the world did he 
these superstars have anything left at this point. The arena's thinking the same thing. All eyes are focused on this moment. This maniac's out of control. Did I seriously just see a bite? Come on! He's really slowly getting up. He has a run where he wants him. How dare you? Saw the original. The director's cut right at the spot. He's no, I refuse. Dang. This was their team? <laughs> no way. Oh. No way. Sorry, I'm just looking at who won. What, what 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 Actually, I'm thinking, let's play the thing again. Okay. Thank you. 
for sure. I'm gonna play this again. Welcome to the bump and what is shaping up to be the most chaotic SummerSlam week in WWE history. I'm not gonna I'm skip Byron it. Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Less than a week before defending the undisputed WWE Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a sabbatical in Hollywood to show his cousin, The Rock, that he will be a bigger superstar there too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after, Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. But SmackDown's brand new general manager, The Miz, didn't find this awesome. He called the attempt to take his WWE Universal Championship to Raw nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time, and Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what is Regal's strategy there? William Regal still has one foot in developing young superstars. Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent until the winner of that match, and neither will we. Don't blow yourself up, young man. You're apt to have a long night. Mr. Regal. Coming in early to help the ring crew, running the ropes while everyone else is still at the hotel, it makes an impression. Thanks. I do my best. Do you? What do you mean? Do you it's do okay. your best? Apply yourself. You sound like my old math teacher. Well, you came to Raw more than a year ago now. And you've yet to make much of an impression. No titles, no great rivalries, a win-loss record with just enough victories to fly under the radar. Uh, great pep talk? Let me finish. I see your potential. The question is, if you're ready to fulfill it. I'm ready. Good. Because as you know, there's a tournament for the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The final slot for Raw will be decided in a match on the kickoff show. One of the combatants will be Dominic Mysterio. That young man has a future, a legacy, a name. The other competitor is you. With nothing. Thank you, sir. So much. I'll bring my best. Good man. See you do. You're the long shot of this whole night, my boy. You're the dark horse. Beat the odds. Okay, I'm not gonna read any of this because, like, I read them before. Um, 
let me just look at the options. Hold on. I'm going to make this a little bit easier for myself. Entrance is on, subtitles on. There we go. Let's go. Because I just kind of want to go through this quickly, but, you know, not too quickly, though. Oh, good. There you are. I'm not going to skip the cuts or Simkin. anything. Associate, but soon to be full fledged producer. Oh, uh, shoot, Troy, I it was on we've met several times. You even borrowed my toothbrush once. <laughs> Ribbing you, bro. Anyway, just wanted to make sure you had the lay of the land. I mean, you're already booked tonight, but normally these situations are a good chance to check your social media, talk to other superstars, mess with your attire, all kinds of things. I've been on Raw for a while now. I know how these things work. Okay, fine. Just trying to be helpful. Thanks, but I need to focus on my match. Good idea, since the kickoff show is starting soon. Oh, and I wanted to let you know that we won't be needing you for anything after the match, so feel free to head back to the hotel. Why would I go back to the hotel? I expect to win and keep fighting. Of course you do. Well, good luck. Oh, shoot. Look who it is, if it isn't SummerSlam's Dark Horse. That nickname is sticking. Good times. Good times? Is Raw trying to steal SmackDown's WWE Universal title? Between us, what is Regal really up to? Um, giving me an opportunity to win the WWE Universal Championship? He put you in a qualifying match. You think that's some kind of vote of confidence? Come on. Don't be naive. I'm not. What are you getting at? You know he has all his royal eggs in the Cody Rhodes basket. He's just trying to set the American Nepo baby up to win. I'll tell you what. The draft starts tomorrow. You beat Dominic. Maybe I bring you over to SmackDown in the supplemental. We'll make a big announcement on social media. Oh, you'll post about me? For real? Why would you want me in the tournament instead of Dom anyway? because I want the WWE Universal title on my show, where it belongs. And I am 100% sure KO will beat you. Coming to SmackDown? Man, that is a very generous offer and a wicked smart strategy, Miz. I just, and I don't want to overstep here, but I have just one little thing I'm bumping on. What's that? It's just that I would rather have my fingernails pulled out with needle nose pliers than ever work for an entitled, condescending reality show hack like you. I promise that you will regret that. Miz, this right now, this conversation, talking to you, that's what I regret. It's the so-called dark horse of the tournament. The following is a qualifying match for the Universal Championship Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 130 pounds. Let's not get ahead of ourselves calling this guy the dark horse of the tournament. He's not even officially in it yet. I have to agree with you, Corey. Winning the WWE Universal Championship Tournament will be difficult enough. But to have to win an extra qualifying match 
first makes it nearly impossible. The second generation superstar looking to carve his own path. It's Dominic Mysterio. Hurry up and get to the ring, Dom Doms. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, so weighing in at 200 pounds. Dirty. Dominic looks ready to go, but I've heard some rumblings backstage that he's not too thrilled about being placed in this qualifying match. Coming in complaining is the quickest way to sabotage your own chances. Dom needs to put aside his grievances and concentrate on the task at hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dom, just get into the ring. I know I could just skip the thing, but I really don't want to. In a moment that can define a career, the road to glory begins right here. All right, Dom, let's fight. One of these men will walk out of this qualifying match with a ticket to the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. And we know who it's going to be, Cole. Dirty Dominic Mysterio. He's a hard man who did hard time. Hard time? He spent one night in jail. Show a little respect to Dominic's opponent. You really think this guy has got the stuff to follow in Roman Reigns' footsteps, Saxton? He's been called the Dark Horse for a reason. I don't know if Dominic can withstand much more of this. Dominic now is going to have to dig down deep. All right, he's getting up. Oh, what a forearm. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Vicious, downright savage club right there. He foiled that attempt. Quick sidestep by Dominic. Devastating kick. Ooh. Hoisted up and driven down with the yeah. tombstone slam. Got a grip. Overwhelming. Single shock slam. Can that finish Dominic? Two count. It's over. Nice work. Here is your winner, We now know who will fill that final spot in the WWE Universal Championship Tournament. What a win. Impressive, but somehow he's going to have to find a way to string together three more victories before the night's over. All right. Oh my gosh, it's Rody Codes. There he is. Great match with Dominic out there. Regal made the right call opening that last slot up. We're in the opposite bracket, but I'm kind of hoping you make it to the final. Real Cinderella story. Is that like some kind of reverse psychology mind game? Hell no. Oh my god, the food is You make it to the hungry. final, oh I'm aiming to beat you just like I was going to beat Reigns. Is that right? Hope you make it to the finals with some nice, short, easy matches on the way. I want everyone to know I beat you at your best. That's the spirit. Good luck tonight, brother.
Same to you. I'll see you in the main event in a few hours. KO, first round of the WWE Universal Title Tournament. Let's do this. Seriously? Are you literally the most desperate superstar on Raw? Okay. I'm just saying. Oh, KO, I'm so excited to fight you. What the hell have you ever done to even deserve being in the same room as the WWE Universal Championship? Oh. You want to know what I've done to get here? It was a rhetorical question. What you've done is take the opportunity to showcase your craft on the biggest stage in the world and flush it right down the toilet. You've been over on Raw for, what, two years now? And most of the WWE Universe doesn't even know your name. All you are is some charity project for Regal. I'm nobody's project. Half right. You're definitely a nobody. See you out there. He's back again to compete in the championship tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 130 pounds. No disrespect to Dominic Mysterio, but the competition levels up a bit here with Kevin Owens. Yeah, it's one thing to take on KO fresh, but after already competing tonight, good luck. It's almost time to see who advances and who goes home. We're in for a brawl with Kevin Owens tonight. With KO, it's a brawl every night. And his opponent from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds. I want some pancakes. What's going on over here? I'm going to turn out white. Owens has actually oh, lightened up a bit. Has formed a few friendships in WWE. Yeah, but you have to believe those are temporary at best because fighting is all KO knows how to do. There we go. I think I fixed it somehow. I don't know how I did it. I need to stop looking at my face. Since so day much. one, it's it has been busy. about one thing. Fight, Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. There were not many people who expected KO's opponent to make it into the WWE Universal Let's Championship go. Tournament, but here he is. What do you think is going through his mind right now? The jerk in the curtain at SummerSlam is as close to the undisputed WWE Universal title as he's ever going to get. KO's about to turn Cinderella back into a pumpkin. Pretty sure that's the carriage, Corey. The odds might favor Kevin Owens, but we've already seen this man has brought his A game tonight. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And we just saw some serious offense. And there was some force on that move. And that could cause a bad day at the office for Owens. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens needs to find an opening. Stumps. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Rod. Bad predicament right here. It was tough. She could airline mouse for that. It wasn't the higher distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. No, oh, right in the mat, face first. That certainly wasn't pretty. But Kale holds on. Kick to the gut. Stunner! Stunner! 
This one's over. One, why the heck would he do that? I'll tell you why, Saxton. Kevin Owens is making a statement. This statement could cost Owens the WWE Universal Championship. KO needs to take the W. He's wasting time. It's not a waste of time. Everyone in this tournament is watching, and they see KO beating a guy so bad he can't stand up. Is he setting him up for another stunner? Wait, small package. One, two, three. He got him. KO had it won, but his arrogance got the better of it. I don't buy it, Saxton. Let me see a replay. KO's taking it out on the referee. And another stunner from Owen. He might have won the match, but did this guy ever lose the war? Just a total meltdown from KO here tonight. And as a result of KO's meltdown, I'm not even sure his opponent's going to make it to his next match. Don't worry, I will, Sweet Pea. to go live with a hit for the bump and you are the guy everyone is talking about tonight you got a quick sec uh maybe you got a bag of ice um no <clears throat> that is a bummer but chatting with you is not what do you want to know you really came out of nowhere tonight with a couple of big wins that have you in the hunt for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But I have to ask, is your performance tonight a fluke? I'm sorry? A fluke? I don't mean any offense, it's just... Your record hasn't exactly been at the WWE Universal Championship level since you got here. I, I have to use the bathroom. Be right back. You know what, I might make some something for myself, so...
I don't think the ad even worked. Hold on, let me go see something. I'm trying to look for, um, commands. Default? Would it be under default? Oh, it doesn't even have the thing. Why am I- hold on. It was commercial! Oh my god. It was commercial, not ad. I- no wonder why it- mm. Okay, let me just sit down in my seat. <laughs> What's the old saying? The times make the man. You're not wrong, Kayla. I've been finding my feet here in WWE. But when Regal gave me this opportunity, I was grateful because there's something in the air tonight. Something I could feel when I walked in the building. No, I don't think people are looking at a fluke. I think they're looking at destiny. Bold words for a man about to face Braun Strowman. I guess we're about to find out if I'm right. I guess we are. Good luck out there. If you find a bag of ice... I'll keep an eye out. She's so pretty, oh my gosh. I want her outfit. Somehow he keeps surviving. It's the Dark Horse. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Seattle, Washington, weighing in Excuse at me. 130 pounds. He's already strung together two victories tonight. Why not make it three? Why not? Because he's facing Braun Strowman. I don't think I need to say anything else. If this is it for the Dark Horse, he's had a good run. The monster of all monsters has arrived. And his opponent from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Fire in the eyes of Braun Strowman tonight. He's ready to attack. Unchecked rage and aggression. Witnessed some impressive feats of strength over the years. Well, the good news is the next one could be mere moments away. Guys, you are really beginning to see the wear and tear on the dark horse of the tournament. And despite the result, KO beat the hell out of him. And now he's walking into a fight with a genuine monster in Braun Strowman. The guy that'll turn around, take the count out loss, and call it a night. Not happening, Corey. We saw it with Dominic Mysterio on the kickoff show, and we saw it with Kevin Owens in our opening match tonight. This man will not quit. Well, he decides. Jeez. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Reverse chunk slam. Oh, you're going to do it to me again? Oh, man. Because I wouldn't this. stop clapping you? Freaking power producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Look at this. She just tossed the leg. She just got thrown around like a sack of, you know what? Ooh. 
What are they gonna do next? Insult to injury. You know what? Let's go. Pumping, and I believe in myself. I think I do. Vice-like grip on the throat. Up and sit out. Choke slam. This spells trouble for Braun. Oh, we got a cover. Come on. There we go. Somehow he has survived three matches and will advance to compete in the tournament finals against none other than Cody Rhodes. Just advancing as far as a huge accomplishment, but I'm sure the Dark Horse isn't satisfied yet. All right. This is a setup, Regal. I take over as the general manager of SmackDown, and all of a sudden there's a tournament for my show's title with a bunch of Raw guys, and now two of them made it to the finals? Mizanin, surely you cannot believe that I somehow conspired with Roman Reigns to abdicate his title. Perhaps he simply didn't want to work with you. That is ridiculous. Roman loves me. And that's not the point. Mm -mm. You and Triple H and all your little buddies skulking around to anoint Cody Rhodes, you set this up for Cody to face this guy. Hello again, Miz. I thought about your offer to come to SmackDown if I did okay against Dom and then lost to KO. I decided to beat him instead. Oh, and Braun too. Looks like I made the right choice including you in this tournament. Oh, look at the Mutual Admiration Society. Can you really not see what's going on here, kid? A qualifying match? Owens? Strowman? You're getting the hell kicked out of you so Regal can put his boy Cody on the throne. He is using you. Yeah, he is using me. To main event SummerSlam, Miz. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I'm done with both of you. You cannot get away with stealing the WWE Universal Championship from SmackDown, Regal. I believe I just have. All right, let's get a match. Oh, I was about to say, it's 516. No, it's not. It is 816. Oh, my God. My eyes. Oh, my God. What is going on in my eyes? It's not this blurry. What the hell? Damn. Against all odds, he's here to compete in the tournament finals. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Making his way to the ring from Seattle, Washington, Weighing in at 130 pounds, Typhoon! It's been an impressive one-night showing so far, but why stop here? He wants to finish the story against the man who coined the phrase, Cody Rhodes. Easier said than done, Saxton. Cody's had a shorter and smoother ride to the finals. This is going to be a one-sided fight. His dreams by being a nightmare to his opponent.
and his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody looks like he's really embracing the significance of this pivotal moment, soaking in and cherishing each passing second. I'm sure he is. He's not just walking to the ring. He's taking the final steps of a very long journey to get here. Hold on to your sunglasses and beach towels. It's time for a SummerSlam Stravaganza. All right, let's fight. There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed oh, dang, I am WWE beat. Universal Championship. Many believe that Cody Rhodes was a lock to win the WWE Universal Championship tonight. The dark horse of the tournament is the last man standing in his path. You know, things would be different if Roman Reigns hadn't walked away, but it sure does look like the WWE Universal title is in Rhodes' grasp. After all you've seen tonight, you're still counting this man out? There are only so many bananas. You know what? Your head is pretty not yellow, and I thought I grabbed your head. Oh my gosh, that's gross. That's a sadistic individual. Come on. You can sever an artery or something. There we go. Damage after something like that. Or at least need a tetanus shot. Cody is losing command in this one. Yeah, some flaws in Cody's game plan are being exposed. upper right corner. Let's go. Each of those boots seem to get heavier with each blow. And the, the corner now. In full control here. Face full of turnbuckle. And Rhodes oh, denies shit. the attack. That's not what, it, what I wanted to happen. Pulled back into the hip toss. And he's just picking him apart now. Yeah, he is being steadfast in his approach. Okay. Able to get the advantage here. And Cody puts a stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. But Cody has to push now while the window's open. Oh, straight nope. to the floor. And really that's not even where that was going to be. Stop, go. Off the floor. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. Cody Rose has his opponent right where he wants it. Cool. I didn't even get to counter. That's this. great. Really? He's taking some this some booty. Hurt, but somehow he's still in this. I think he managed that kick out on pure oh. instant. Okay, cool. Alone. Looks like Cody is going to have to readjust, maybe strategize here. He thought that was it, but somehow it wasn't. Stiff elbow will break that up. Fucking get over here. He went God right damn. Into that turnbuckle. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. This is not what I want to do. Right to the gut. Yikes, Am I doing right something wrong? No, no, get over here. You have to wonder if that's Cody what I did. This tournament's final match over confident. I don't think so, Corey. Cody Are you better. okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Learned not to underestimate any of his opponents. Reversal. And the ref gets taken out. There it is. Cody hit the crossroads. No, the story 
finish should be complete. Our referee was right in the line of fire, Saxton. Cody sees it. Now check in on the official. You can see the frustration on his face. We got to get another referee down here. Spear from Roman Reigns. What the hell is Roman doing here? Cody is hurt, guys, and the official has no idea. I can't believe this. Roman was supposed to be off in Hollywood, but I guess he took a detour. Oh, no. What is Roman thinking? Reigns can't do this. No! Roman Reigns guaranteed that Cody Rhodes would not win the WWE Universal Championship, and the head of the table keeps his promises. No! Not like this! No! Yes, Cole! Yes! It's over! It's over! This is incredible! Roman is the kingmaker! This is criminal! Criminally genius! Look at the smile on Roman's face. I can't believe how we got here. We have a new undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Undisputed? This guy doesn't even know where he is. Roman's actions here Try tonight to will reverberate throughout <laughs> the WWE Universe for a very long time. What a SummerSlam and what a turn of events. Okay, continue. My tribal queef. I done queefed. Okay, so no upgrade. Cody, man, I was going to give you a call, but figured we should talk in person. I don't blame you. I know you and Reigns weren't in on it together. He was trying to hurt me, not help you. I appreciate that. Did you just start this, the guy story? Yeah, I, I did, again. At the same time, we both know I had you beat when Reigns attacked me from behind. Is that what we know? One, two, three, four, five. And that's when I got up to check on the rat. I don't need to recap, I was there. And I have the championship to prove it. You took the crossroads. It was over. Look, you hung tough. Your time will come. But last night, you were done. It was a strategy. I knew the ref was down. Why would I waste my energy kicking out? Okay, sure. Right, pal? Seriously. While you were counting in your head, I was just chilling. Taking a break. You know, some me time. Well, I hope you saved up plenty of energy while you were looking up at the lights because you're gonna need it tonight. See you out there. It is an absolute crime the position that Roman Reigns has put you in. The cloud now hanging over your reign as WWE Universal Champion belies your efforts. I know you fought like hell to win the title. You're damn right I did. Had to compete in an extra match, too. And I still made it to the finals. And won. A fine achievement that the WWE Universe, nonetheless, looks askance at. Unfortunately, Reigns beat Cody as much as you did. Perhaps more. People think Cody would have won? Great. Tonight, we face each other again. One on one. I am ready to prove to you and the WWE Universe that I deserve to carry the title. Good lad. You can't let the world define you. You have to define yourself. And now, I'm going to define myself as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Love to hear it. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's a very busy night with the draft starting. Good luck. Ah, uh, got a match. <laughs> not a not an ad question mark days the following contest is scheduled for one song and it's for the end and Bella Chow is playing
The WWE Universe just exploded. The American Nightmare Cody Rhodes looks as ready as ever for action tonight. I'm actually gonna call him Rody. <laughs> Rody Coates. I have to double check. Instead of his actual name. You just have to be impressed with the form that Cody Rhodes has taken. He's become a leader, a mentor, and a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton, but we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than anything else. He's a world champion. What is zombie? Are you still here? Uh, just wondering, are you okay? Cody Rhodes I thought we were going to do a thing all. together. All in the name of finishing the story that has eluded his father. Cody seems dead set on reaching the pinnacle in the name of the Rhodes family. It's the brand new, undisputed, WWE Universal Champion. Let's go. Go. Do we have to call this guy undisputed? After Roman Reigns handed him the title at SummerSlam, he's very much disputed. The finals were full of controversy, but the champion did win the tournament and has another opportunity to prove himself tonight. Can the Dark Horse take down the American Nightmare one more time? I think so. I, I can't remember what happens in the story. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! And his opponent from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 130 pounds, he is the That's what it's all about, the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The, the WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage. Yeah. That goes into the importance Execute a grab? Of this okay, got you. With Roman Reigns back in high yeah. we can finally settle the WWE. Rhodes and the Dark Horse jockeying for position here. Stop. Stop the damn match. What is Miz okay. doing out here? I said stop this unsanctioned match. That's right, unsanctioned. I'm so sorry to ruin his lordship's plan, but Raw's Royal General Manager, William Regal, seems to have forgotten something. What is Miz talking about? Unsanctioned? Regal forgot that I had the first pick in the draft. So this conspiracy to steal the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for Raw ends tonight. He's not going to do this in the middle of his huge match, is he? The WWE Universal Champion has been drafted to SmackDown. Effective immediately. Miz can't do this. He just did, Saxton, and it's brilliant. Come on. Get out of the ring and grab your bags. It's time to go to your new home. Cheer up, Rhodes. 
I'm sure Regal will give you another chance at the World Heavyweight Championship. Regal doesn't look happy. Speak of the devil. Have a look, Regal. All the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. That's what I thought. Now tell my WWE Universal Champion to get out of that ring and pack his bags. I'm afraid Mr. Mazanin is correct. This rematch is cancelled. And the undisputed WWE Universal Champion is bound for SmackDown. A huge change in the geography of WWE has just taken place in the middle of this championship match. Good luck countering that move in the draft, Regal. Miz just told the whole Raw audience, you want excitement, you come to SmackDown. While a huge question mark continues to hang over the Dark Horse champion. Question mark days. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion has arrived at SmackDown. Without Regal and Reigns, this guy would be working at the concession stand. That's more than an exaggeration, Corey. He put on a show at SummerSlam, and I, for one, think SmackDown got a steal in the draft. Yeah, we'll see. Pants. Actually, hold on. I think I want... I still have... Okay. Yeah. My mic on now? Is it working? Testing, testing? Okay. Oh, hey, zombie. I have a question. Um, I don't know if you ever mess with Nightbot, but... Uh, commercial thing. Did, did you ever mess with that? Zombie? No, I did not mess with that. You messed with everything that is on my Twitch chat, so if you did not mess with it, I did not mess with it. I know. I, I, I was just... Oh yeah, the, like the next time you go away, you can just put in like the exclamation point commercial. But I don't know if that's on or not for you on Nightbot. Oh, we also need to work on the clip thing for the Nightbot too. Yeah, so we need we can do that later. Right now, my uh, PC is not working because I gave my power cord to some, my uh, brother. Give ah, my power cord okay. to Carter. Uh, tell me when you're hopping on a WWE. I am right now, but I'm about to go to the bathroom real quick, so I'll be back. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna try and... Uh, maybe it's not a good time to do a main thing. Um... Okay, that's fine. We'll just... Let's just do, like, one of these things. NXT Battleground, um... I don't know any of the NXT um, people. Uh, let's just wait. What? Why not? Sure. Back tape match. While we're waiting for zombie. A tough lady and a real lioness.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Nikita Lyons! Nikita is unapologetic both in and out of the ring. She's all about taking what she wants, and who's going to stop her? Say hello to Mrs. Wrestling. I was about to say, am I next? By the way. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One half of the WWE's resident power couple. I'm not in the ring, Saxton. Candace is all smiles until the bell rings. Hey, a big opportunity for Candace here. You know, I just realized her aesthetics are basically mine, and I hate it. Candace LeRae is a textbook example of looks can be deceiving. As sweet and harmless as she may seem in the ring, she's anything but. Well, she's the poison pixie for a reason, Cole. This pint-sized powerhouse is cunning. She's intense. She's no pushover. Yeah, underestimate Candice LeRae at your own risk. Oh, shoot. And Hold we'll on. How do I hide the UI? The there we go. A superstar who has been making her mark on the women's division. Yeah, Saxton, she certainly has made the whole WWE universe hear her roar. Wait, is the live thingy... I don't know. Guess it's not there. Oh, shot right to the kidney. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Lions is wasting no motion. Nikita cashing in on her opportunities. Ah. Stinging kick. Go behind. German nine. What now? A stop to the belly welly. Ooh, stinging kick. Lions looking to bait her opponent. Uh oh. Oh, God. A totally ill advised decision there. Maybe slight hesitation there caused the outcome. So aggressive as the key to Lions, you have to wonder if that's a good strategy with her experience level. Now you're right, she's still rough around the edges, so I think experience could be a factor here for Nikita. Forcing her into unfamiliar territory might be the key to upsetting the rising star. Ooh. Oh my gosh, y'all, the what countdown. Get in the ring. Go. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Why did she go in Nina the ring like that? Back to the ring. Just a few seconds left. She's back just in time. Ah! Goodness, I did not want to count out. Baby girl, that failed so hard. That flop. amount of cardio and strength. Textbook neck breaker. A club with a right forearm. DDT. That'll be a blow to Lions' confidence. Yeah, Larray taking the fight right to into the cover. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. <laughs> Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. German! Just pure dominance. Oh, what a kick to the... He's looking for the win. She did it! The Dang, that was so quick. The win. Here is your winner, Nakita Nikita Lyons securing the W here tonight. Hear her roar. What a victory by Lyons. Great wherewithal. It was so focus. cool, to be honest. And tonight, Nikita Lyons would not be denied and would not Excellent. be defeated.
right. New Year's Eve? What? <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see heat wave. Th <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm, I, I, I just miss the look of that ring. What am I missing? I just want to know. I think this is DLC. Yeah, that's DLC, I think. Um, what do I not have? This is, um... My friends, I think? BC... What is this? No, I want to at least look at it. Well, I was not expecting a SmackDown to be picked when I hit random, but that's fine. I'll take it. I'm not going to be anyone because I'm still tired. Wait, hold on. No, wait, 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 no. Clear. No, we're going to get... Hold on. Gee, there we go. Where's Grayson Waller? No, let, let's have his... Um, there we go. Okay. Spectate the match, sweet pea. Get ready for a new normal. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Franklinville, New Jersey, weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. A man already well known for his mind games, you cannot discount the power and speed of Gacy either. Gacy preach backstage, and I gotta say, he seems pretty insufferable. Well, Byron, what you call insufferable, many of his followers call scripture. And Gacy is all about accumulating followers, accumulating power. Time to feel the Grayson Waller effect. I'd rather not. And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, one half of the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Grayson Waller. Well, Grayson Waller never met a superstar or rule that he got along with. Certainly has his own way of doing things, and it's risen his stock very quickly here in WWE. Now we'll see if Grayson Waller can back up all his self-generated hype. The eerie R of Joe Gacy filling the whole arena here tonight. Peel away the mystique, Cole, and you'll see Gacy as the true competitor that he is. He's found an impressive balance between wild brawling and technical mat technique that's managed to make him as dangerous inside of the ring as he is outside of it. It's hard to imagine an even more dangerous Joe Gacy, but maybe we'll see it here tonight. And he's going to be put to the test tonight as he experiences the grace and Oh, I saw that. Waller talks a big deal, but he is a tremendous athlete in every sense of the word. If he can focus on his in-ring ability here instead of his trash-talking ability, the sky's the limit yeah. for Waller. 
As we've seen time and time again, Joe Gacy okay. loves to get into his opponent's heads. Loves to create conflict and doubt where there previously was none. Exactly, Cole, which is why when you're facing off against Gacy, you have to shut off the noise. Sure, Gacy's saying some interesting things that are all, of course, true, but you can always wait until after the match to acknowledge that. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. I can't see anything. Look at this, Byron. Here comes a suplex. Oh, slingshot. Awesome, get, oh, bleh, awesome theory. Kicking butt it right now. Soaring. Because I can still at least see his shorts. Finds the mark with a leg drop. Grayson now has a leg He's up in this match. Shorts. He's been refusing to let Gacy into his head. And look at him now. Staying one step ahead with that mindset. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might Ooh. get caught. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot Austin Theory there. Delivers the cross body. In attempt underway, but the ref is still distracted. Not enough pressure on the pin. Boom, DDT. Hmm. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. the kidney Golly. and I think it's going to be Grayson doing some groaning after that attack I am back welcome back did you see what they added what did they add the Wrestlemania 40 map oh yeah oh I did not expect that I was playing it yesterday I was like is this is this Wrestlemania 40 heads outside but this one <laughs> has to end in the ring are we gonna play on WrestleMania 40? I mean, yeah, I kind of want to play on WrestleMania 40. All right, let's do it. I don't, I don't have the thing, by the way. It's a DLC thing. He has no business down there. Yeah. And you, and you, you think has all the DLCs? You do. You have the expansion. Who is it? Who is it? No life. Uh, apparently, you. <laughs> hit on the face you can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win gets inside the ring that was real European uppercut oh come on why would you do that it goes without saying that there is a certain disdain for your opponent when you pull off something like that it will be technical all you need is like fucking twenty dollars and then you can have everything. Because the only reason why I have everything is because I have the uh, 40 years of WrestleMania and the season pass. Mm -hmm. I still can't believe. I still can't believe yesterday's match. Oh yeah, but you know I me. Mean, I spend like most of my money on bubble tea. Yeah. And not just bubble tea, uh, other types of teas too, like chai, for example. Chai tea. Victory here. Tonight is only going to add to the power of influence, Gacy. Did you say you drink chai tea? Yeah. Masala that chai, chai was pretty good, though. I'm not even gonna lie. When I had that little cup of chai, that chai was really good, actually. <laughs> yeah. Now you see why I love chai, right? Chai tea. <laughs> Meow 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 meow. Let's do the final boss. The final boss and the tribal queef. Or tribal queef. Versus Cry Baby Drew. Cry Baby Drew and with CM sucks. <laughs> and then and then who else should we have who else should we have uh yes um hmm damien priest i don't like how the timers are you going and seth rollins <laughs> <laughs> Did you hit random or something? What? 
Did you hear it random? Because you were freaking out about the timer. No, I was just looking for Seth Rollins. Lobby warning! Oh my god! Who would have thought? Oh god, my throat. I want a cheeseburger! The expensive one! You know what? Dude, that, that, che that cheeseburger I had was an expensive one. Oh, yeah. How much it was, was like it? 20? Fucking... Yeah, it was like a $22 fucking burger. Gee, it, be it better have been a good burger. Wait, why do you think I ate it all? I was like, fuck! It was good? I mean, yeah. But $22, it wasn't that good. <laughs> like, I've had a better burger for five dollars. Oh. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of wish my dad kind of went, made us went to a better restaurant. I, I mean, their menu is all right. The falafel. Hmm. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, to be honest. Because I, like, I, I, I say falafel. The falafel. And Falafel. Yeah. Falafel. You know a show I've been watching? What? Have you ever heard of a show called The Orville? Uh, no, I have not. It's, think of Star Trek, but Star made Trek? by the, made by the guy who made Family Guy. Oh. The guy who made Family Guy is like the leader of the sh like the Star Trek ship. Ah, it's really fucking funny. Like there was an episode where an alien had a porn addiction yeah. and downloaded a porno on the ship, and it gave the entire ship a virus. You know what's funny? Like the uh, freaking porn ad. No porn ads. Um, you know there's what I more m malicious. Uh, ads on news. You know what sites. I miss? What? Where are the milfs in my area? I know, right? Did they did they just die out? Where'd they go? Exactly. Where the milfs, where the milfs die? Where the milfs go, man? I was waiting for my milfs in my area, and I have not seen a single milf in my area in like five months. A, a milf in this economy? Like you know, I use Kiss Anime and all that shit. You know, watching that website, there was always pop-ups like, MILFs in your area, five minutes away. Now, when I watch it, I don't see a single MILF in my area. Where's the MILF go? I think they're all broke now. Who, Where who the MILF at? Who can afford to have children? Who can, who can afford to have a MILF? I want a MILF. We want MILF shake. And here he comes. You're our friend, and this is a friendship that will never ever end. Dude, that shit is so funny. What? JoJo C was being attacked because of her dance. Wait, she actually got attacked? Not like physically, but she's like oh. being attacked on social media and all that. Because she hit 21 and made that dance, and now people that are like 10 and 11 that follow JoJo Siwa are now doing that dance as like. Oh kids. my god. And have you seen that dance? Um, wasn't it like extremely uncomfortable where she like touches her crotch and whatever or something? Yeah. Oh my god. And you know, and oh you know no. what she said when kids are starting to do this? Where are their parents? You know what she, you know what she responded to? You know how what? she responded to it? How? It's not my fault kids need to take better care of their kids. Yeah. You know, that's not the parents' fault if you're going to go on social media and you do that dance and then everybody else is doing that dance so the kids think it's fine. It has nothing to do with the parents. Just wondering, what they're under 13, right? 
Some of them, yeah. How the hell are they able to... What? Because they... That dance has been on Nickelodeon. On Nickel... No! Because of JoJo Siwa. She has her own fucking channels on there. Oh my... You would put that... Di oh my... JoJo Siwa mm. is still technically a kid star. So anything JoJo Siwa does, kids are going to see it. No matter where it's at. It could be on OnlyFans, kids are probably going to see it. <laughs> because JoJo Siwa is that big of a kid thing. I had no idea. And you missed your around town cue. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing around town. Fuck. Damn. Sorry, I was just... The OnlyFans thing kind of made me laugh. <laughs> well, how would a kid? Oh, thank goodness it works. <coughs> how would a kid what? Get on OnlyFans? Yeah, I mean, they would need to open their purse. Hey, Nemo. Yeah. <laughs> you lied about your age. Okay, but you need a... You can't really lie about your... Don't they value loyalty? Don't they value honor? Well, you, know, you well, can do. Superstar is the personification of loyal to a fault. Exactly. They don't question these awful allegiances following bad orders. And if kids would do it for fucking Fortnite skins, oh my god, they'd do it for that. Kids have actually been doing that. A man who always yes. gets a strong reaction oh from the WWE gosh. universe, and it will only intensify Nemo. once the bell rings. Fucking Aiden tried to take. Chad's card to get a fucking skin. Oh my gosh! And got in trouble for it, which he should have. And now he's very restricted on what he can buy. Like Chad has to approve it first. Oh my god, I'm I'm so sorry for that. Here comes Seth. Freaking yeah, you lied about your age. The visionary. That's easy. And the Every kid revolutionary. Though. Of WWE. You know what makes me sad now? What? I mean, you know, kids are using kids are using my birth year to uh, lie about their age now. And oh. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. Like you know. Because they can't really do math. Gentlemen, the choir has never been louder. Then on the grandest stage of them all. A man with no shortage of ego, but it gets even bigger come WrestleMania. Successfully cashed in his money in the bank in the main event of WrestleMania back in 2015. Yeah, Michael, but Seth has also seen the That's probably why I stopped advertising my own. Not to see it. Cody Rhodes. Yeah, but tonight also, okay. the visionary turns that Yeah, I know kids can do that, around. but like. I. I Younger me would never. I mean, I have light up. I know, like, I know a guy that gets paid for drawing not safe for work stuff. You know a guy? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, under under thirteen, me never lied about age. The archer of infamy. You wanna know the funny thing about the guy that does that draws uh not safe for work, right? They mostly draw safe for work. I don't know what it was. He, he never showed me. I asked him like years ago, but I was like 15, and he was like, "Nope." Ah. But like, he was someone I grew up with. Like, we would go to his house and, and, like all the time. Like me and Sean would literally stay weeks at this dude's house. Like during during the entire summers, we would stay whole summers at his house without going home once. I remember in high school, not not the not Virginia, not Virginia, the, the state I'm in. I knew this guy a look of pure who would draw not safe for work stuff in the middle Priest. of school. Oh, he and when he would show me, I'd be like, "Oh my God!" And has found them all By the way, everyone, I I was 18, so you know. If it makes you feel any better, I know a guy that drew swastikas everywhere. Unfortunately, I also knew a guy who drew swastikas everywhere, too. But what's your definition of everywhere? Uh, it's... Well, I can't remember. I know he drew it on some uh, papers, then erased it. 
Here comes the yeah. I don't know who would try to draw one on my paper, too. A man who's mean streak grows yeah, by he erased it. You know what this kid did? To no one and fights it, except he didn't erase himself. mine. Yeah, Drew is hell bent you know what he did? It's still way worse. Mine would not still way worse. Be the one what? To stand in his way. I know you would take a Sharpie. He would take a Sharpie right on the principal's windows and shit. Oh my god. <laughs> he would write it in the bathroom on stalls. He would write it on the whiteboards on teachers' rooms. Oh yeah. You know the Promethean boards? Uh-huh. He would literally steal the teacher's pens and just draw nothing but swastikas on the board. Oh my god. I caught him being racist to a black guy one time. And that was the last time he was racist and near me. Did he still draw swastikas? Oh yeah. I thought that was funny. I said you can continue doing that because that shit's hilarious. But you be racist and you try to attack somebody again, we don't have issues. Something tells me the countdown to Claymore. Oh, this is random, but I knew a guy in middle school who would also draw dicks. The Scottish warrior Every kid prepared dicks. for battle. Yeah, but the way he drew dicks. He, he, he just... Eight, equal sign, equal sign, equal sign, equal sign, equal sign. <laughs> <laughs> Capital D. <laughs> and, and sometimes... um. I, I remember one time in uh, the best. What was that? Look at the wood. And he's not here to make money. What jobs. song? I wasn't saying this song. Here to make oh. money. It's like something shop. with wood that you cut. Uh, wood chop. Wood chop. I think it was yeah. called something else though. I think you might be. Maybe yeah. Wood chop. Wood chop it. One time he was talking about dick girls. And don't get me wrong, some can be hot, some can be hot, but he would not stop talking about big girls. Like, I think he has a fetish. Man, I wish we could actually hear what he just said, because I can't hear, you can't hear what CM Punk says. Oh, you can't? And that makes me sad. No, because did you see how he kneeled down? What he does is he kneels down, the Undertaker. years. Kneels down, checks his wrist like he has a watch on, on his and goes, It's clobbering time! In the main event <laughs> and win. And that was the one thing I liked about CM Punk, is I would go for that. But I'm starting to like CM Punk now, because he's not really done, he's done with everybody's shit. Especially crybabies. <laughs> Punk's return was an amazing I don't see why he's being such a fucking crybaby to begin with. Capitalize. You know why? Yeah, easier why? said than done because the Cause competition when COVID, when COVID hit, he was up where Roman Reigns was. He was the undisputed champion, everything. He had it on top. He was on top. Still fucking Roman enough. Reigns came in, stole the show. And now he wants to be... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the people's champion. Oh, damn, them kitty bounces. Oh, you know why, Corey? It's all due to the power of the Brahma Bull. And from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, The Rock. The Rock says, The Rock. The Rock says, The Rock. The Rock says, I say, Fuck The Rock says. Now we gotta wait for the five business days. <laughs> well, not actually gonna wait for him. Uh, <laughs> please, Tornado please don't hurt me. Teams please don't hurt me. Things are going to get frantic fast. Whatever team comes out of this with their hands raised, oh, is going to right. make a strong. Oh, Sam Punk! Sam Punk, CM Punk just kicked the no fuck out. Of Listen here, CM sucks. Ouch. Oh. Personality. Oh no! I wonder why can you pick that song? 
He's had that song for as long as I can remember. Oh, really? The personality. I the yeah, I, I remember both of his songs. I remember both of the songs that he had. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rude he used to have a kill such a great song. to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. No I'm getting my ass beat by CM Sucks. Look in your eyes, people. What do you see? From behind. A bitch is about to get hurt. My itch. Outside the ring now. He has no need what to push. What do you see? By the way, everyone, I do not hate CM Punk. Uh, I love the Punk team again. CM Punk, because uh, I I did I did not want to see as much as uh, Zombie. You're fine. Why are you screaming? Me? Wait, I'm screaming. Oh my grandmother. Oh. I said you're screaming. That's funny, they just texted me right in the hallway saying good morning because he just woke up. Oh, someone set that table up. The lamp? Are you ready to get saved? Oh, fuck it is. Dead ass. Oh my god! Okay, have one. Damien Priest. Nope. Stop it. What kind of person does something like that to another human being? How's that for a counter? Uh-oh. I don't think so, Damien Bruce. I, I refuse. Absolutely not. This is not going to be pretty. I don't want to see this happen. Oh, the home of Slam. Please don't. I made it. I made Sea Punk bleed. I made Sea Punk bleed. I dropped it down. No, you don't. No, you don't. I don't think so. Oh, my God. What just happened? Oh, my God. Roman Reigns? Did you just see that? Yeah, and apparently he's so <laughs> He's about to get his soul sucked. Gonna restart my game because it did that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I should probably do that too. What do you see? The cult person. Hold on, there was this restaurant I wanted to. Uh, fuck. I want to go there for uh, Father's Day. An Italian restaurant that is not Olive Garden. I think my mom expects me to make some. Uh, uh, salad. So I might have to make that later. You need to make your face shut your face. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to shave. I should have done that yesterday, but I didn't. One of these days, I'm going to grill some steak, and we're going to have, like, some steak frites. No, you're not. You're right. I I'm thinking about replacing the frites with sweet potato fries. Cause I love sweet potato fries. Remember when everyone got mad that uh, Michelle Obama uh, replaced fries with sweet potato fries? <clears throat> mm. 
when really it's the school's fault for uh, supplying with such shitty um, food. Something that I need. The bell rings on this elimination tag team match. This will go a long way in claiming your position in the tag team division. One, two, three. Whatever the cross base gets cinched in, this could be a Drew just did that to me. And to the corner now. What a shot. That was a power bomb. Oh, the LA Knight. Oh. Oh, you're doing this to me right now, Sweetie? How dare you? Who do you think you are? LA Knight? <laughs> yeah. Who do you think you are, LA Knight? Yeah. It's not to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You thought everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. I'm getting anal more than CM Punk. And his head is yellow. Please. Oh, great. Both our heads are yellow. Piss yellow. It's funny because if it wasn't for CM Punk, Seth Rollins would have never got a job. Nasty. Was definitely not thinking about finesse with that one. Was only thinking about dominance and repeated impacts like that will weaken you mentally as much as it does physically. You can see that each strike drains their opponent's energy. Uses it. Perks up high. Yeah, reverse. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Aha, take my sig. And we both. Aha, you got stunned. I'm taking this opportunity. Part of me really wants to pin uh, the team first. I know. Jay. No. No. I, I still remember that one time I tried to save you. But I, for some reason, I just facing up. I forgot. Oh. If you were fighting each other, I think you would have landed on me. Get out of here! And he said, get out of here, back to me. Oh shit. And Rollins capitalizes. Up the go. Oh, Seth Rollins. He just got caught with that DMT. Yeah, I'm dead. He killed me. He did fucking pedigree with me. I am forever dead. No, Drew, please. Okay, I've barely been hurt. 
When you're this far into a match, you are surviving on instinct. God sir. After a blow, this is all about survival at this point. See, I don't feel like I should spear Jay, but Jay still saved me last night. Oh, yeah, he, he did. Oh, my God. He's got him scouted. Like, if it wasn't for Jay or so, I would have been out straight. What a sidewalk slam. Oh, 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 oh. He's outside. What's the plan here? LA Knight, thank you. Now, Crybaby, is that Crybaby you're coming after me? Oh shit, I thought I could dodge that. But I, I guess I was like, it's stunned. Slightly. Not stunned, but like, I'm able to. I really need to stop doing that. How dare you? How dare you? How very much dare you? Agreed. 
incensed. It looks like there's no limit to how much damage this superstar can absorb. Seth Rollins and Deep Thought looking to conjure one last move to end this. This match has been history in the making. This is insane. Oh, yeah, that's like 2018. Oh, God. Quick return to the ring. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. I don't know if the risk is worth it. You got rid of bald man. Bald man. That's all I think about when I hear your song now. Uh, Jay? Just because he saved my friend one time does not mean you have the the audacity to hit him. Oh my god, that's gross. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Can y'all stop fighting so I can land on you? Like, I could land on Jay, but I'd rather not. I will. I do not need to I meant to land on you. Oh yeah, I think I saw that. We both jumped completely in sync. Ah! That looked so cool. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Shit. You. You're the one I want. Oh, you get stunned. Yes, you get stunned. Get up! Something nice is about to happen to you. Just trust me, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh, that's not even where I want to happen. Oh gosh, this is all your fault, referee. Okay, good night. How dare you? See him? No! No, you're definitely getting this. You're definitely getting this super finisher. Oh, yes. LA Knight, please, no. Get out of here. Get. I said get out of here. Get out of here. Referee, look at me. <laughs> oh man, he is gonna fucking stomp on right my friend. You gonna stomp on my friend? Extreme. I don't care if Jay hits me. <laughs> this is what you get for eliminating bald man. And he's out of here. From your team. Check. I'm trying to find I'm this banner, but it looks like it's stand about up, stand up, get fucking superstar. Oh, damn. Oh, oh, I just got up, bro. This can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Yeah, but don't worry about that, that guy. Get ass. He'll head to the ring. Oh man. Get the fuck up. Oh shit, damn. I was waiting patiently too. Is it the There's two. Hangs on by a Can you I had to use it. No. <laughs> you just fucking threw me on my head. Does he have him here? Probably not. Forces the shoulder up after two. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Ah, striking with an A. 
Yikes, that'll need to wake you up or knock you out. Uses the edge of the knee. Why are y'all here? Why are y'all here? Knight doesn't have any room to recover. Yeah, but Knight needs to admit. Will it be? I think so. I'm scared. Knight giving the pink slip in this one. Reversal. Can they go on the vice light grip on the throw? Up and on the pin to get rid of his resiliency. Spear, my friend. How many times? Twice? <laughs> so you know what's about to happen to you and your whole side? There's no limit to the destruction we can see here tonight. Uh oh, this is going to be bad. Really? Hoist it up. Sacrifice him. I had a so reckless. Or did I even listen to that? For them there. Oh. I feel it. Just pinning the arm down and then and a carefully measured knee drop. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. I'ma play with my knee. Oh no, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And Jay is being picked to pieces here. Somehow Jay's gotta turn the momentum around. He's looking to completely render this leg useless. Stop pulling a leg snap. Very effective. Specifically targeting the leg. Oh, a strong impact. Snap headbutt. Get the fuck down. Tearing down the leg now. Jay puts a stop to that. And that might be the start of the momentum swing that Jay needed. Jay showing it's not a time for lying down, it's time for fighting back. Ooh, man. Uh-oh. End of days. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar out of each other. He's feeling it. Got him in his sights. He has truly gotten to a different zone, you guys. He clearly has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. Oh, man, he is more than to up in there. right now. Throwing down Not gonna happen the gonna happen. Where is this going to go next? He's able to fend off the attack. You love my meat. Goodness, that's the stiffest use of meat I've ever seen. He said that's the stiffest use of meat he's ever that seen. That should strike fear in your opponent. He is obviously taking way too much pleasure in this right now. He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. Weapon in hand saying, I'm up in the ante. Heading back to the ring. He's just taunting his victory. Oh! I'm sorry. Did I'm gonna play I say he's attacking you, buddy. Oh no, he's in the line of danger now. Right the table. Face first. How in the world can he come back from that? Stay down. Pick the splitter. Get whacked with my knee. Wait, did that? Did you miss? Move. Yeah. You, you did? Apparently. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. And he said, You're not getting me with that this time. Oh, no, you want to throw me in that corner? Whoa. Kiss my foot, bitch. He's returning fire. <laughs> Slim Jim to the dome and just pounding the meat off 
of the opposition. And that's another move where he's focused on the arm. He's making his intentions known to everyone in the arena. Snapmare takeover. Here comes the boom penalty Bitch. kick. Fuck the you. Stuff. Spear is better. Oops, that's not the move I want to do. I need, I need you to tell me which spear is better. You like this spear? Right. Right, that's a good spear. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. You like this spear? In position! Ready to He just picked up from that. Every other team tonight. He's first. Which spear did you like, Nemo? Your and we are looking I like that last one a lot. <laughs> in this matchup. I mean, you know the funny thing is? Absolutely a cruel mistress, I'm the only one in that match that did overcome such a challenge. Oh? <laughs> Ow, my butt. I know you can't. I know you can't see my face, but just, you know, just know. Unable to communicate with WWE servers at the time. Oh? Is it going to show the same thing for me? Attention. One of Unable to connect. <sighs> Searching. And there's some. Uh, I think we need, we need to reset your thing again. Unable to connect to two K servers. I'll show you what to connect to. Connect to my ass. <laughs> oh, you're fucking licking it. I need to see the menu really quick. Finish the story. Yeah, sure. That's what we're trying to do. Ooh, I didn't even get to see the prices. Uh, I guess I'll see it when I look at the menu. Oh, is that far away? Why do I have the feeling that this restaurant is like, I don't know, it's going to be like pasta and pizza and whatnot. So you want the bad news or the bad news? Um, does it matter? Unable to connect the WB2K servers. Damn. What's the other bad news? Unable to connect to 2K service. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's so bad it needed twice. Signature pizza. So I guess just go back to play the fucking story. Oh, I want to play a game with you, though. Mushroom risotto? 
Rosemary chicken ravioli. Oh my god. Not ravioli. Spinach cheese ravioli? Calzone? Italian street festival sausage. Oh, and there's wine too, of course. The Italian food most Americans grew up with was a creation of Italian immigrants that settled in New York City beginning at the end of the 19th century with no formal training and without many of their traditional ingredients. They used locally available products to create a new version of their cuisine. I really don't get why uh, Italians like trash on like American Italian food, Italian American food, whatever. I mean, they were using what they had. That that annoys me about like every freaking ethnic group saying this version, this version of our food is not authentic. Like, shut the fuck up. Food is food. Eat your damn fucking plate. Actually, no, I think it's a good time for me to end my thing because I've been streaming for two hours and uh, my- But when that match ended, something happened to my mic. Slightly. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm not gonna do a 